In this tutorial, I will show you how to use JavaFX progress indicator and progress bar. Let's create a new project. Open FXML in SimBuilder. I will change grid pane to uh, anchor pane. Make sure you have a controller class. Anchor pane. Let me link with the controller. Enter. Let's add one button. For now, I'm going to add one progress bar. That's going to uh, visualize progress of uh, any operation. So when you click the button, that will uh, visualize it for the progress. So let's go to code. Here I will say PB quantity. So I'm going to create item class, then one of the property will be quantity. Change the plus. So when I click the button, I will increase by 10%. So let's say BTN plus. I will say handle BTM plus. So every time when I click plus button, it's going to increase the progress of um, quantity by 10%. Let's go to code. Library, OK, OK, apply, OK. PTM plus, read data field. Create methods, create a data field. Let me change the private. And uh, let's add annotation for FXML. So here we will create one class called item because we need to uh, observe property of objects. We need to have um, a property. So I'm going to use um, double property for double value. I will say quantity. And then um, it's a simple double property so that you can read and write. Let's go to generate. Create the getter and setter methods. That's fine. OK. So we have um, get quantity, normal declares final, double property also final, and then set methods should be final as well by convention. That's all for item class. Implement initializable interface. Then implement abstract method called initialize. 
Okay. Let me create a item object. So initialize. Inside the pole value, inside quantity, zero. We are going to use a quantity property and the listener so that we can monitor what object change to uh, item object. So add the listener, new change listener. You can use an uh, object class or you can use a number class. I will use a number class that deal with the uh, double value. So implement changed method. I like to change one here. The first one uh, reports to old value. Second one reports to new value. It makes more sense. So progress bar quantity, progress property, we can bind with uh, item object, item, depends on quantity property. So we just bind um, progress bar and then item object. So we can take action, set quantity, item get quantity. Value is actually between 0 to 1, which is 0% to 100%. So we can say plus 0 0.1 means increase by 10% uh, when you click plus button. Okay, it will increase 10%. Premium options. Model pass. C drive. In my case, uh, Java FX SDK 15.0.1 library. Add modules. Java FX controls. Then uh, Java FX, FXML. Apply, OK. Build project. Successful. Run it. So when you click it, it will increase by 10%. Let's look at. Um, Progress indicator. Go back. Let's add one more button called minus. EM minus. Yeah, I will say handle BTM minus. progress indicator. So every time when you click minus button, it's going to um, decrease by 10%. So value is going to be between 0 to 100%. So let's save it. Free data field. Uh, method let's go up then change to private then I'm going to add fxml annotation so let me just copy
Press tape. Implementation is um, pretty much the uh, same. So let me copy, paste it, then uh, progress indicator, PI. Same, copy, paste it, then let me change to um, minus 0 0.1, okay, decrease by 10%. That's more. Let's have a look. When you press press button, it's increased by 10%, decreased by 10%. That's all, thank you.